go to Switzerland. Actually, wait there, I need a wee. <sighs> For the last six months, we've been on the trip of a lifetime, from Australia to Malaysia, and now off around Europe in our beauty little van. This week, we arrive in Switzerland, and John is definitely starting to test my nerve. Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm so cross. Made it to the Swiss border. You're a new Swiss. <laughs> Um, and we're at our first what looks like proper like checking you into a country border so you can see we're like queued up waiting to get in I think they'll check our passports I'm not 100% sure I've got them at the ready but the main thing we have to do is buy a vignette which is a little sticker that goes in your window and that's how you pay to go on toll roads over here and you get big fines if you don't get one so make sure you buy one yeah but you haven't got to get one before you go just before you cross the border there's a little pull in that says vignettes there so we're just pulling in there we haven't done it yet so we're yeah like... hopefully we're going the right way oh, yeah. and we're not going to get big fines but we'll let you know if we're successful in a minute thank you hello, hello. hello. thank you so you have that uh, Nice weather. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. It will be as well tomorrow, 30 degrees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you so I much. I wish you a pleasant time. Enjoy Switzerland. Oh, thank you so and much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, she was the nicest lady ever. Well, that's a good start anyway. Well, that was delightfully easy. Um, 40 Swiss francs, or which is about 33 pound for your little sticker. And it lasts a year. So it doesn't matter how long you come for, you have to get one for a year, but it lasts a month either side. So it's actually 14 months. So it lasts from 1st of December, the year before, to the 31st of January, the year after. Uh, so that was really easy. And they didn't check our passports as well. So just bought our little sticker and now we're off to Lucerne. We may or may not have bought this cake yesterday afternoon. And yes, I am going to finish it for breakfast, but don't worry, it's blueberry. So it's part of my five a day. Well, that was the uh, most interesting welcome to a country I think we've had. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get into Switzerland. Beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. We find some parking. And uh, the next thing is this lady comes up to me and she's like, have you got a knife? I was like, wow, what's up? She's like, can you help me? Uh, I've, I've got some rope trapped around my propeller in my boat. So yeah, he goes and have a look. She was like, we need to find somebody with a mask to get in to like, get this rope off the propeller. So. I've got a mask in the van, so I can't, I can't help but leave these poor ladies in Damsels distress, can in I? Damsels in distress. Yeah, so uh, we goes and gets my little tool kit and uh, cuts this rope off the propeller. Dives into the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Superman. In fact, yeah, I suppose I've got to yeah. egg this up a little bit, yeah, really, isn't Yeah, gets his shirt off, six-pack rippling in the sun. All the ladies are a Oh, look at him. I'll tell you what, hero. the boat was posh, wasn't it? Oh, I reckon it's got to be a couple hundred grand, that boat. It's more than our house, for and sure. You know what the funniest thing about it is? We haven't got enough money to pay for the parking. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go and like, get this rope on this couple hundred grand boat. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, get the rope off. And the woman's like, oh, well, come with us out on the trip. We're going to this restaurant. We've got this restaurant book. You can come with us and all that. It's like, no, 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 you're all right. So yeah, just incredible. But yes, they gave him a cheer when he got it off yeah. and um, gave us a wave off as they, they sailed off onto the lovely Lake Lucerne <laughs> for their fancy lunch. Anyway, I see this lovely town. So this is the famous Chapel Bridge and if you've ever seen pictures of Lucerne you will have seen pictures of this bridge. It was built in 1333 and remained intact until 1993 when some massive plonker tied their boat to the bridge, boat caught fire, set the bridge on fire and they had to repair it all. But you can still see loads of the like charred original pieces of wood. Now, we're not the best YouTubers for showing you the local food and the local delicacies. Which you might think strange, considering how much we love the food. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I suppose it's hard to just justify spending all that money. Like, it's nine quid for an ice cream, like we said last week. Yeah. And, uh, Which actually, interestingly, is about the same price in Switzerland that we've been past a couple. Yeah. But 
we just can't justify the money like when we could go and do a fun activity for the same price yeah so. i mean the thing is it's nice to do it in the moment as well isn't it like so it is a bit of a killer sometimes that we yeah. don't do it but then at the same time well you do that 10 times and there's 100 quid there isn't there yeah so. absolutely and um, we do treat ourselves sometimes, don't we? But we're also trying to be smart. So Switzerland is renowned for being really expensive. So yesterday we went and did big food shop at Marche, did a good game of fridge Tetris and we're stocked up. What's the first impressions of Switzerland then, Jess? Spectacular doesn't begin to describe it, honestly. So, like, the old town is one of the best preserved in Europe. Because Switzerland is famous for its neutrality, it's never been bombed or anything. So, all the old buildings are really intact. Yeah, it's real clean as well, isn't it? And uh, what I find about it is, it's like, you've seen mountains before, you've seen lakes before, you've seen rolling hills before. Well, here you see it all in one shot. Like it's incredible that you can just walk around the corner and literally get everything. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a feast for the eyes. It doesn't quite feel real, does it? No. So that was Lucerne, and now we're on our way to a place called Lungern, or at least I think that's how you say it, which is another beautiful town on the side of the lake. Because in Switzerland, there's so many lakes that they reckon you're never more than 16 kilometres away from a lake. Yeah, and also, uh, the old Swiss, they're a bit uh, safety conscious, I suppose, yeah. aren't they? Because they've got enough bunkers to house the entire population of Switzerland. Yeah, so they're neutral, but they also have enough bunkers. And they yeah. you have firearms as well. But how many population is there? I don't know. I have to Google it. 8.7 million. That is a lot of bunkers. So welcome to the front seat of Restaurant A La Beauty Bust and tonight we have a view of Lake Lungern. This is the cheapest restaurant you will find in Switzerland <laughs> and, and the I best with Jess's cooking, eh? Oh, yeah. Nice one, wasn't it? Smooth talking, there you know. Yeah, you just want me to keep cooking for you. <laughs> so, we've got a little salad and some sausage sizzle, you know, Australian in it up a bit while we're at the side of the old lake. But the reason we're in the front seats eating dinner is because we don't know if we're going to stop here, are we? The view's brilliant, but like it's right by a road, so mm -hmm. we're having an hour in whether we because if we stop here the night, we can go down to the lake tomorrow and go out on the old kayak or yeah. the sup, but uh, yeah, we don't know. But I haven't shown you my secret weapon. You've not had this before, curry ketchup. You get it from Audi in Germany and it's the best sauce you're ever going to get in your life. And one of Jess's re friends reckons that you can get it from Amazon as well. So if you've ever tried it, get it. And also, where are they? Down there, down there. I don't rate them. Fricadellas. Oh, beautiful. I don't actually know what they're made from, but they're beautiful. And you have them cold. And um, I think I'm going to do it Aussie style today as well. Straight with the sauce so, on so the fricadella. I do recommend the sauce. I don't recommend the fricadella. Mm, no, he can keep them. He eats a whole packet to himself. Filthy boy. Yeah, sausage is a bit burnt, aren't they? I was bigging you up on camera, look. Tastes better like that. They're after, aren't they? Do you think that snow over melts? I'll tell you what, I bet it's fresh in there. Shall we go see? <laughs> Get in there. Come on. I'm gonna fall in. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Come on, oh. you big chicken. I don't see you getting in. <laughs> it sounds fresh. She reckons it's cold. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Oh my god. If you're really nice afterwards, it's worth it, I promise. 
That is some of the coldest water I've ever been in. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> it's unreal. Yodle, 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 <laughs> she looks like a Helga or something, don't you? Helga. Helga. Heidi. Heidi. Yes. Heidi or Helga. Yeah. Good morning anyway. Uh, we tried to find a better parking spot last night. We couldn't. We failed. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is pretty spectacular, but it is a busy road. which just kind of takes the shine off it just slightly, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. I'm sure your heart's bleeding for yeah, us anyway. Yeah. When we wake up to this. But <laughs> um, yeah. So today we are off exploring more of this lovely country. We're going to go see a couple of little towns and prepare to be shocked. We're going to another lake. <laughs> so we uh, might get the old kayak out a bit later, eh boy? Yeah. Enjoy some of this sunshine. So another thing for you to know about driving in Switzerland is that you need to drive with your headlights on all the time. Uh, which I think is quite common across Europe, but it makes even more sense here, I have to say. Yeah. It's every two seconds there's a tunnel, isn't there? Yeah, well, it's good. Like, you don't see many bridges or anything like that. It's all, they seem to just go underground. So it's like they don't disturb any of the environment. It's yeah, it's really good. And one thing I love that we've seen is they make these, um, like, animal crossing bridges, these nature bridges for all the animals to cross over so they don't get hurt, which I think yeah. is brilliant. But, uh, but the amount of clips we've done, where we've got halfway through and I've said, Jess, look at that, and we've had to cancel the clip because everywhere you drive here, you go around a corner, like right now, there's just like this little flowing lake as we go past. Yeah. And, and a snow-capped mountain in front of us. Yeah. Like, yeah. Crazy. It's definitely the most scenic drive we've, we've ever done, yeah. hey? So we've had a bit of a change of plans and instead of going to a lake, we've come to Grindelwald. Which is absolutely amazing, but I don't care what it's like because I've had my entertainment for the day. We just pulled in the car park and that's in two hours. So, so it's like, it's just in his happy place, he yeah. is. But I'm I'll... like squirm squirming in the car going, oh God. He's like, oh Jess, look, look, get the camera ready, get the camera ready. <laughs> but it was all over car parking spaces. But um, yeah, they got out and stood in front of the car and everything, didn't they? Although I'll tell you what, English road rage is a bit different to the old Swiss road rage. Yeah, they just stand there in, there in was, patient silence. There was no swear words, there was no fists raised, and there was no mum cussing either. No, so. there, was no there was no your mama. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the cable car. Might have had to take out a mortgage to do it. 146 francs for the pair of us to do it. But it is incredible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Jess is bricking it. I, yeah, I'm, as you can tell with me holding on in my sweaty palms. I thought I'd be all right, but you're just in a glass bubble flying through the air. John's more chill about it than me. Um, but we're going to the top of First Mountain um, and there's some activities to do there. There's a, one that John's going to particularly love. I'll let you guess what that is. Um, and then you can go on a walk to see some marmots. And then we've caught hide these cool little bikes that you can go down the hill on. You can also do it in mountain carts, but we did that the other day. So we've got to mix it up a bit. Um, I'm a bit gutted because you're supposed to be able to do a zip line like flight. Um, but unfortunately, they've sold that out for the day. So we're going to do the bikes instead, which I think will be fun. Should we show the people where we are? Show them where we are, John. Show them where we are. It's ludicrous. So John was really happy when we got to the top. He's, um, he's not so happy with me right now. I like the view. It's beautiful, isn't it? I don't like what that's over there. You never go on the cliff walk, love? Or am I going to go on my own? Well then, let's go. No, you're not going to do it, yeah? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He's doing it. He's going for it, everyone. He's going for it. Go on, boy. You got this. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on. When are you going to get the chance again? I don't care. <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a bit wild even for me. My legs are like jelly, and there's people up here spinning around like they're in the sound of bloody music. 
Look at this. Well, we've had worse spots for lunch, haven't we? Mm, See, nice little picnic spot. Uh, technically, it's not free, I suppose, is it? But uh, It's a romantic picnic spot. Mm, really? I got asked with the romance this time. But we've just been debating whether to climb Everest or not. We haven't been debating it. I've been telling him there's no way he's doing I it. I think it's a good idea, but then we bulked it when we saw the price of it. Because that's the only reason. Yeah. Not the fact that I can't go for a walk for more than about 45 minutes before he gets bored. It's £42,000 each to climb Everest. You can see why though, they don't have to have like oxygen tanks and everything. If it was 500 quid, I reckon I'd do it. No, you wouldn't. I you would. still wouldn't do it. You don't even. I would. He doesn't like being cold. He doesn't like going for a walk for more than 45 minutes. How's that going to work? He thinks he's a bloody mountaineer now. He's come up into the mountains. Start barring like a mountain goat before you know it. Watch this space. <laughs> oh, God. So you're not doing Everest with me then, no? Tell you what. Climb a smaller mountain and you like it, then maybe. Should we do Snowden? Yeah, we can do Snowden. You can do it this summer. How much does it cost? It's free. I don't think you even have to pay for parking. You might have to pay for parking. So should we sack off Everest and just do Snowden then? Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a better plan. We don't have to go all the way to Nepal. We don't have to get oxygen tanks. And it's free. Better plan? Bad plan. Yeah. We've got a pimp cabin this time. Oh, yeah. Look at the cow skip. Mm, and some beautiful big curtains as well. But Jess doesn't like this. John. John, it's not funny. John, seriously? Oh my God, so <laughs> oh, 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 you know, no, You so broke it. I think I have. Oh my God. It stopped and we're in the middle of the air. Oh, this is not funny. John, I told you not to do that. Oh my God, are we gonna die? Do you reckon I broke it? I'm so scared right now, John. My heart is pounding. Either that's bad timing or... John, f the whole thing is broken. We're oh, going, we're don't going. Don't ever do that ever again. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's not so funny now when John, I'm on the skywalk. we could have actually died. You broke the whole cable car for the whole of Should Grindelwald. Should we do it again? Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm so cross. I'm not talking to him. <laughs> I don't honestly think I've ever been so scared in my whole life. She's not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> I must admit, I did think it was broke. I think I did make it stop, eh? I reckon where it's it tilted. It's not funny. It's, it's funny now. It it's wasn't not, funny, like, it's not funny. when I thought, uh-oh, I broke it. Like, every little bump now. I'm like, like, I'm gripping his leg. Chicken. What a chicken, eh? Bikes. Trotty bikes. Don't even know what that means. It sounds fun. I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. Check out my new wheels. Only trouble is, I'm not very good on a scooter and I'm not very good on a bike. It's half and half. This could get messy. Oh, he's gonna be the death of me, this boy. What do you think then, Jessica? You haven't crashed so far, are you? Crashed? I shouldn't jinx it. I shouldn't she jinx it though, me. really, yeah. This is one of those times uh, I wish we had smell o vision for you. We stood at the top of the mountain earlier and you could smell all the beautiful wildflowers coming up. And then coming down the hill, all the farmers are harvesting. So there's a smell of like freshly cut hay, you can't beat it. But it's just, it blows our mind that people live here. Harvest this land, farm this land. I, how they manage it, I just don't know. Like it's kind of understandable in the summer how they could do it, but winter, these must be some hardy people.
Well, that was brilliant. It was so good, honestly. And like, I was gutted when we got here because I really wanted to do a zip line. And John was like, let's try the trolley bike. So I was like, no, I don't want to. Maybe we should just do the cable car. So good, yeah, honestly. Well, um, the zip line, I would really enjoy doing that as well. But I think the zip line, you could do anywhere. And all right, you're not zip lining there. With this view. Yeah, but, but we've done in one in Wales before. Yeah. Which probably would have been at half the a price. Thing. Yeah, and uh, but there's nowhere where you're gonna like basically bike down a mountain like that. Yeah, so. and you go all through the little like country villages and through the farms, and it's so good. And you're on it for ages. Yeah, well, it was, must have been there for about an hour, and yeah. we were just mosey on down. Whereas it was a lovely line ride is down. like probably 30 seconds of fun. Yeah. So definitely, like when we came, would have been the bottom one on my list to pick. It would now be my first recommendation that you try them trotty bikes. Yeah. Now this is a very important fact, none of Jess's rubbish. Look what I've just found. In Switzerland, the Swiss army knife. Now it was actually invented by the, the Swiss, but it was produced in Germany. And the reason they produced it was because the Swiss army needed to open canned goods and disassemble their rifle. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, so they needed a knife and a screwdriver. Proper facts, none of Jess's rubbish. Do you want to know my favourite fact about Switzerland? They'll be boring, but go on. It's a great fact. So, in Switzerland, it's illegal to keep sociable animals on their own. So, like, if you buy a guinea pig here, it's illegal to have one guinea pig. You have to at least have two guinea pigs. How great is that? You're making this up. I'm not, it's a true you story. Are definitely you can get fined in everything. Get in Switzerland. So I saw this unusual bread in Intermarché the other day and I thought, I've got an idea for dinner. Should we see if it's great success or epic fail? Items. Oh, great success. So my masterpiece is chicken. They do the best like breast chicken in the shops in France. So chicken, mushrooms, peppers, uh, salami, cheese and salsa and it's delicious and we thought we need a bit of a a good scene for our dinner because yesterday we didn't really have a good well it was, oh, it was by the lake wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. so we've come to it's only about 15 minutes down the road and it's the tallest waterfall in Europe mm -hmm. tallest free falling waterfall in Europe in Lauterbrunnen I think that's how you say it anyway so we're going to eat this go look at that Let's go get a better look at this waterfall, eh? This is wild. We're standing underneath this waterfall on the sheer drop cliff valley face. Look at it. Unbelievable. So after the waterfall, we decided we'd take a little walk down this road, didn't we? And we're yeah. glad we did. Found some chamois. Yeah, or chamois. 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 I don't know how you say it. Something we'll, like we'll that. We'll pop up. Yeah. Um, and I googled it as well. They can't decide what they are. They're a goat antelope. I didn't know those existed either. <laughs> cute little things anyway. Like really They looked cute. a bit like, from afar, they looked a bit like a, a deer, didn't they? We yeah. thought they were a deer or... But then like... they've got these like strange little stripy faces, haven't yeah. they? But they get so... a lot of deer here, like all the signs and that yeah. as well. Yeah, they? it says like, watch out for deer for the next 4K yeah. and stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and try and find a park up for the night. And we're going to have to leave you there because we've run out of time this week, haven't we, love? Oh, yeah, but uh, Switzerland incredible um, you've got to point. come and you know what i'd just drive through it if you can't like come for anything else just drive through it just driving through it is incredible isn't yeah. it yeah so. honestly we've never been so much like <gasps> yeah. like kids around even corners. right now like you just think yeah it's so hard to explain that yeah. it doesn't feel real really so just keep pinching ourselves yeah. so come back next week for more of switzerland <laughs>